talk about uh, one of the things that we do for our customers that um, a lot of people don't know what's out there and it's the homestead and it's not like your homestead like in the 1800s <laughs> right a lot of people think this 1800s <laughs> and the, the big news that she pointed out when we were discussing earlier is the amount is up since last year it's up to from 550 to 605 yep. and I can tell you based on what I talked to other people around the country is Nevada is one of the few that still has a very good homestead like California is really low Yes. So can you kind of talk about what is a homestead and what does it do for our clients? Because some of our clients are looking at us like aliens because we're on them <laughs> like, hey, you got to get this done. You got to get this done before when you close on your house. So. Uh, first of all, no matter where you live, a, a homestead's a great idea. Uh, California, even though it's lower than us, I still always do a homestead. Um, our homestead in Nevada is why we have a lot of people. It's one of the reasons that drives people to come to Nevada especially people who are retired because they want to protect the equity in a home. So a homestead does exactly that. It protects up to $605,000 of equity in your house um, from unsecured creditors. So who's an unsecured creditor? Credit cards, medical debt, secured creditors, the IRS, uh, your mortgage, something like something along those lines. They're secured creditors. Right. So what happens is let's say there's something unexpected that happens, a car accident, COVID, medical bills, right. um, just unemployment and you're living off, you know, credit cards or something um, and your credit cards build up to be too much and you just are feeling smothered. So the homestead is primarily designed to help somebody out with bankruptcy. Uh, so you could file bankruptcy, get rid of your credit card, your medical Protect debt your and still have your house as long as your mortgage um, allows you to do so, which most of them wouldn't do so, I would assume, because you you affirm that debt. Um, the other reason why people do it is for upon death in estate planning. So we never know how somebody is going to pass. We don't know if there's going to be medical debt. Everybody, as a senior, typically says, "Well, I have Medicare and it's 100% coverage," and I go, "Great. Uh, do you have a long-term care plan?" Because Medicare doesn't cover, depending on your plan, but most of it does not cover nursing homes right. or some Which sort is of a big ticket item that exactly can really and reduce your that's, equity yeah, yeah. and that can happen the last few months of your life and you're stuck with a huge medical bill uh and depending you know it depends on the contracts that were signed at the time but if it is an unsecured creditor of that estate and there's they, they'll have access to cash or any you know liquid assets or vehicles things like that but they can't access the equity in the home as long as it's under six hundred and five thousand. great and the median home price, as many of you know, because I did a podcast recently, is 450 for the Reno Sparks area. So uh, the majority, half, more than half the people fall underneath that. Bye.